Good day to everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to study about the game between Grandmaster Peter Spiedler versus Grandmaster Daniel Dubuk at the 2019 Grand Prix Hamburg. Grandmaster Peter Spiedler is a specialist on using Gronfeld defense when he is playing the black side. Now, he uses it as white. What do you think Grandmaster Dubu will use as an opening preparation to beat Grandmaster Spiedler in his own style? But first, let's go to Diagram A and analyze the position. As you can see, this is an endgame sample here where both white and black has equal pawn counts. Both also has overextended pawns which at e5 and c4. I want you to analyze this position and probably do it with your friend to be able to share this knowledge to practice end game which is the main plan for you to be able to get oriented to many end game positions so this is your homework now we're going to diagram B as you can see from this position this kind of bishop at e3 kind of I was thinking what is this bishop doing at this square where looks like congesting it for my opinion I would prefer going to bishop f4 or either why not c3 the waiting move because if you don't want to play c4, say c4, then up to you to play the solid games such as c3. But it depends really on your taste. Now, we're going to study the main game. We start by playing knight f3 d5, g3, g6, bg2, bg7, d4, knight f6, castling, castling. So as it's, it looks like it's the same position now. Grandmaster Spiedler is playing the reverse Grunfeld defense as Grandmaster Dubu copied it at the same position. So how, how is it going to be differing right now? What would be Grandmaster Spiedler's response? Now, he decided to play Bishop E3, which personally, probably he might be thinking, oh, I'm going Knight G4, then having a great tempo of Bishop F4. But... I believe that Grandmaster Dubov is not thinking that way. There's a saying that if there's congestion in the center and you have to hit the center. So he played Knight C6. But there's also other sidelines like Knight BD7 and also knight g4 which I don't suggest so let's continue after knight c6 then h3 avoiding knight g4 now rocky 8 from this position black must hit the center because the e pawn of white is congested blocking by bishop 
which is making it now in a defensive mode as in disadvantages so let's continue then finally went to bf4 but now there's knight h5 as it wanted to clear away the bishop because the main idea now is e5 after bishop g5 h6 bishop c1 look at this see from bishop e3, bishop f4, bishop g5, bishop c1, that's four moves wasted. So be careful on using variations. So sooner your position or the outcome of what you chose as an opening will delay the progression of each pieces maybe at the queen side or delaying any plans or you want to strategy or to attack so let's continue knight f6 knight bd2 now e5 looks like black is much more dynamic now so after dx e5 94 which is a good move there is other move knight takes which looks equal it looks equal so grandmaster dubu chose the better knight e4 well of course the e5 pawn is hanging so anytime he would be able to capture that so let's continue c4 c4 also a bit not solid enough to me i think c c3 is much safe this move so as we go after c4 then knight d2 queen d2 as i suggest also i believe knight d2 is i prefer then takes takes then that would be the position but there's a move bishop e6 which is also good for black continuously after queen d2 takes queen c3 bishop e6 protecting c4 bishop e3 went back again to the favorite square then queen e7, rook fd1, rook a d8, rook a c1, b5. That's if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. And it's still equal, but the pawn at e5 is hanging now. So let's see what happens. a3. Now, this is the move that creates one pun up so after this move a6 to protect the pun at b5 bishop f4 good move bishop f3 then knight d4 fantastic move queen e4 bishop takes bishop e5 queen e5 queen e5 now knight takes bishop which i believe that's the winning move because it separates the e pawn and it just become like a three pawn island already because that area from black side there's three pawns and from white side there's four pawns but double pawn considered three pawns so continuously check rock takes rock takes the queen side has obviously so advantageous for black because it's 4-2 pawn structure so as we continue king f1 king g7 rock d8 a5 f4 rock c5 now positioning to move 
King E2, C3 breaking the chain, takes, takes. A4 creating double pawn to weaken the structure, takes, but still a pass pawn. K4 trying to capture A5, check. King E3, A2, Rook A5, King F6, G4, King E6 trying to get to C5 pawn sooner, he wants to push it. H4, King D6, F5, and finally, after that move, White resigned. So, I hope you learned from this game because the main issue of this game is all about the four moves of the bishop at e3 that get wasted. So, be careful about opening preparation and it will affect the whole game and i thank you for watching this presentation and see you again bye